In today's video, I've created a project using fast flow stitching. Hi everybody, I'm Marguerite. What is fast flow stitching, you might be asking? It's using your machine, your sewing machine, to sew in a very free manner. You don't need to sew in a straight line. It's just um, using whatever stitch that you would like and sewing very loosely. The project that I chose to do is to collage in a strip using papers that are in a fall theme. So I've also chosen things that have the colors of gold, yellow, orange, green, brown, and then to use some fast flow stitching over the top. I didn't come up with this idea, of course, of collaging in a strip. I saw another artist do something similar. Dory Singh was the person that I got inspiration from. There are several YouTubers experimenting with this theme right now. In the description below, I will put the links to everyone who is working on this kind of fall fast flow stitch theme. So you might be asking, how would I use something like this? So here's an example. If you have a junk journal and say that you, you want to have a specific theme inside your junk journal and you've collaged with papers that are going to, be, to work in this journal, then you could use it for a bunch of different things in your journal. For example, if you take a piece and cut it off, you could attach it and then use that as some kind of um, tuck space. You could just embellish pages in general, right? Use it in there any any way that you want really you could even you could even embellish covers with it you could use a whole bunch of them or you know cup two side by side or just a single piece this one's already got something on it so this is not, probably not a good example but if you have just a plain cover of a junk journal you could use something like this uh, to embellish that cover you can also cut them down into tags and you know punch a hole at the top and put a ribbon in it. Um, you could cut these down to ATCs, which are artist trade cards, and then trade them with people. So there's a lot of different things that you could do with something like this. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is pull some paper out of this paper pad. Doesn't matter what kind of paper it is. I wanted something that's a little bit more on the thin side since I'm going to be adding layers. Now I want to make strips with this and the width of the strip depends on the pieces that I'm going to be using. So these are the, a bunch of pieces that I pulled out to use and I liked, let's see, I liked this this size width, this. So I think I'm gonna use that as my base. So if I take approximately this size, And it doesn't need to be exact. I don't need to measure it out, but I'm just going to say approximately, approximately there. Doesn't need to be measured at all. Goes so much faster if you just kind of eyeball it. Now I have a thinner piece here, um, so I might choose to use it or not. I'm not sure yet. I have two pieces, one on top of the other, and I'm just going to tear it with my ruler. Okay, 
Now the plan is that I will take these and attach them together and then just keep on adding papers on top. Okay. So what I will do is I will just put papers like this. And I have a bunch of papers that I can use like this. I will cut down the size as I come to it. These are just kind of things that I chose that I thought were in a fall, using fall colors. So I've got some yellows, some oranges and reds, um, a lot of neutral colors. And with the neutrals, I can take something that's blank and rubber stamp on it. So that is a good idea as well. All right, I think I am about ready to begin gluing down. Let's see how this goes.
this is what it looks like. Now, now I can go in and add a second layer of papers and that layer might look like something like this. I have all these small bits. I might tear off some pieces and put them in. I want to add in some reds maybe, a little bit of red. I also want to add in some postage stamps. So I can look through these and with these postage stamps, I also want to look for reds and yellows. So that's what I'm going to be doing with my second pass of layers. start thinking about putting this through the machine what I want to do is to put a stitch a red stitch all the way through and just kind of decorate it with with some sewing on it So here's how it turned out. I really like the way the stitching kind of pulls out some of the details in some of the images. I had originally decided um, that I wanted to use red, but then when I looked at my different threads, I really like this kind of gold copper uh, thread and decided to use that instead. And I'm kind of glad I did because it's a very neutral color and it just kind of brings more attention to the images that I chose. So I hope you've gotten some good ideas for adding some fast flow stitching to your work. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And for my collage art friends out there, let me know in the comments if you use sewing in your work. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.